Okay, greetings one and all, and welcome to day number one. Yes, day number one, week. This is week 12, spring 2024 of our journey together. That's day number one, week 13, spring 2024 of our journey together. This is week 13, spring 2024 of our journey together, and it's definitely a delight to have each and every one of you here for this evening's class. Um, Let's begin. So today we're going to be looking at... um graphing inequalities. Again, we're going to be looking at graphing inequalities. So let me first head up first, and then let's get going. So today is Monday, 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 the 1st of April. So Monday, the 1st of April, um, 2024. The subject is, of course, um, mathematics. And the topic is the topic is graphing inequalities. So we're going to be looking at graphing inequalities. Graphing inequalities. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Graphing inequalities. So um, and I should say on the xy plane, so because we have been doing it in the x co in the x plane, but we need to do it on the xy plane. So that's what we're going to be looking at today: graphing inequalities on the xy plane. So for this one, you're going to definitely need a ruler and a pencil. Again, you're going to need a ruler and a pencil to make sure that you're able to draw the x and y axis and be able to draw the grid properly. If you have a graphing paper, that would be good for this particular section of our um of our class. So ruler pencil, ruler pencil, um graphing paper if you have it. If you don't, then just use your book. All right, so let's go ahead and actually um begin to draw this grid. So you we have for this grid, we have the x-axis. The x-axis goes from left to right or up to down. Let me let me know, please. X axis goes left to right or up to down, up and down. Left and right. right. Left and right. Very good. Left and right. And the Y axis goes what? Up and down, right? Up and down. So that's gonna be our this is our X Y plane. And so let's go ahead and answer some questions based on this. So let me move this. Make sure I draw the X Y plane, please. Draw this graph. It's going to be our first example. Again, it's going to be our first example. Um, the first question says we want to draw well AI, right? AI. Let's call this example one. This is AI. AI. AI says that we want to um draw, right? Draw the line y equals to three. Draw the line y is equal to three. Now, I don't know if you all can remember, but the line y equals to three, that's going to be a horizontal line or a vertical line? Horizontal. It's going to be a horizontal line, right? So the line y is equal to three is going to be a horizontal line that passes through what? That passes through three on the um, y-axis. And so this is very important. So let me explain once again how we got the line y is equal to three. So they say y is equal to three. So the line y is equal to three is going to be a line that goes from left to right and that passes through three on the y-axis. Samantha, you understand that? Where's Samantha? Samantha, are you there? Sir. You understand that? Yes, sir. Okay, good. So the line y is equal to three is going to be a, a line, a horizontal line that goes left to right that passes through three on the y axis. All right, so that's the first thing I'm going to draw. The line y is equal to three, to three, and let's label it. Um, Let's label it uh, y is equal to three. It's going to be y equals to three. Let me make sure we get something sensible in there. So y equals to three. And I want to put it as red. 
is going to be a line y is equal to 3. Oopsies. That's a line y is equal to 3. And I don't want to move this, but... So I want you to draw and label the line y is equal to 3. Okay? Again, draw and label the line y is equal to 3. So the line y is equal to 3 is going to be this horizontal line that passes to 3. If we wanted y is equal to 2, right? If we wanted y is equal to 2, then that's going to be a horizontal line passing through what number? Passing through? Passing through what? 2. Passing through 2. If we want y is equal to 1, that's going to be a horizontal line passing through 1. If we want y is equal to 0, that's going to be a horizontal line passing through 0. Okay? So y is equal to 3 is a horizontal line passing through 3 on the y-axis. Nivea, Nivea, do you understand that? Yes, sir. Can you explain how we got y is equal to 3? Yes, sir. So we got y um, is equal to 3 because um, it's on the y-axis, y-axis, mm -hmm. y-axis, y-axis. So um, on the y-axis, it's going from left to right. Mm -hmm. So if you look, you could see the three. Yeah. The three, and you just draw a line through it. Very good. Take it wide. Very good. So we draw a line passing through three on the y-axis. China, can you explain how we got y is equal to three? Yes, yeah, so y means it's supposed to be on the y-axis and in order for it to be on the y-axis, you need it to be a horizontal line passing through three. So we just put a line passing through three on the y-axis. Very good. Y is equal to three. Ajani, do you understand how we got y is equal to three? There's Ajani. Yes. Okay, and Akiro, do you understand how we got the line y is equal to three? Akiro, do you understand how we got the line y is equal to three? Where's Akiro? Akiro, are you there? Yes, sir. Do you understand how we got the line y is equal to three? Yes, I could barely hear you, are very low. Yes, and Angel, where's Angel? Where's Angel? I can't hear from Angel. Um, Bree and Bri, do you understand how we got the line y is equal to three? Yes, sir. Okay. How about you, Bri? Do you understand? Yes, sir. I'm oh, not Bri. Bree, do you understand? I can't hear her. Bree, are you there? Bri, where's your sister? Yes, sir, I understand. Okay. Okay, so that's how we get the line y is equal to 3. We have to draw a horizontal line through 3 on the y-axis. All right? Um. Now, the next question is we want to draw question number 1, a double i. Um, we want to draw, we want to draw in the line, draw the line x equals to say x equals to four. So draw the line x is equal to four. Okay. So draw the line x equals to four. Now for this one, anyone can answer the line x equals to four. Is that going to be a horizontal line going from left, left to right or a vertical line going up and down? What is that going to be? The line x equals to four. Is that going to be a horizontal line going from Line it's going to be a what? I can't hear y'all. Vertical line. Going line. It's going to be a vertical line going up and down, right? So, and it, and it has to pass through which number? It has to pass through which number? Four. Number four. It has to pass through four. Okay. So, um, the line. Y is equal to 3 is a horizontal line that passes through 3, going from left to right. But the line X equals to 4 is going to be a 
vertical line up and down that passes through four on the on the x axis. All right. Do you all understand the difference? Let me know, please, if you understand the difference between x is equal to three and yes, y is sir. equal to four. Yes, yes, sir. I mean, x is equal to four and y is equal to three. I only yes, heard sir. some persons. The rest of you, do you all understand the difference between x is equal to four and y is equal to three? Yes. yes. Sir. All right. Um, Malik, explain how we got x is equal to three. Yes, so if you look at the example three, y, um, y equals three, all we need to do is find the x-axis and then look at the, no, look at the four on the x-axis. Yeah. Look at the four on the x-axis. Then we go and take a line through that four. Mm -hmm. which then equals into x equals 4. Very good. Thank you, Malik, for that explanation. And Jaleel, explain how we got x is equal to 4. Hello? Yes, explain how we got x is equal to 4. Okay. We locate four on the x-axis then we put a vertical line through it very good we locate four on the x-axis and we put a vertical line through it very good well said um dear gibson where's dear dear gibson Where? yes sir you understand how we got x is equal to four yes sir how did we get it We use the line up from four and we go up and then we get x equal four. Very good. Um question, what if it said x is equal to five? What is gonna be? If it says x is equal to vertical. five, it's gonna be vertical what? Vertical line through five. A vertical five. line through what? Five. Very good. What if it says x is equals to two? What's gonna be? A vertical line to two. A vertical line through two. Very good. A vertical line through two. Very good. Um Jevin, do you understand this? Yes, sir. How about you, Kmar? Kmar, do you understand this? Yes, Kmar. Yes, sir. How did we get the line x is equal to 4? Mm -hmm. um, Kmar, we do not have all D. I asked you how do we get the line x is equal to 4. I can't hear from Kmar. Kmar, what are you doing? I can't hear from you. Um, Kevin, where's Kevin? Where's Kevin? Kevin, are you here? Can you hear me? Hello, Kevin. Kevin, please type inside the chat. Let me know if you're here because I cannot hear you, Kevin. And Ke uh, Natalia, where's Natalia? Natalia, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Wow, you're here. <laughs> wow, we missed you a lot. Did you miss us? <laughs> a little bit. A little bit, oh my. Um, I hope you didn't forget what you learned um, over the course of these weeks. Um, no, sir. Okay, that's good. But I'm glad that you're here. Do you understand what we've done so far? Yes, sir. Okay. How do we get the line x is equal to 4? Pardon me? How do we get the line x is equal to 4? So we would look on our x-axis, our, technically our x-axis, and look for 4. And then we draw a line going up, and we label it x. I mean, yeah, x equals 4. Very good. And how do we get the line y is equal to 3? We look on our y axis and look for three. Mm -hmm. And you want to find three, you draw a line across and label it y equals three. Very good. You get y is equal to three. Very good explanation. Natalia, see why we miss you, right? Um, 
Malia rule. Do you understand this? Where's Malia? Malia rule. I can't hear from Malia. Uh, Mark, do you understand this? Where's Mark? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, so we drew the line um at y is equal to three and we drew the line x is equal to four. Um are y'all drawing this in your graph books or in your in your books? Let me know please if you're drawing this inside of your books. Yes, Let me know, please. I am so okay. Only two persons are drawing this. The rest of you need to draw this. Are y'all drawing this inside of your books? I have graph people. Okay. Excuse me, Mr. Bidate. Uh huh. Go ahead. I get at you now, Kevin. Yes, sir. Okay, good. Sorry, something was wrong with my mic. Yeah, it definitely was wrong because I couldn't hear you. Um, but do you understand this? Yes, sir. Okay, so the next question, that's good. The next part is B. It says write, write the coordinates. Write the coordinates. Write the coordinates. Um, uh, where the two lines. Where, the two lines. Write the coordinates where the two lines um, intersect. Intersect. Write the coordinates where the two lines intersect. So we have to write the coordinates of where the two lines intersect. Um, so we can do put inside the chat. Put inside the chat the coordinates where the two lines inter intersect. Again, put inside the chat the coordinates of where the two lines intersect for me. Um, do not answer it out loud. Put inside the chat the coordinates of where the two lines intersect, where the blue line and the red line intersect. Again, put inside the chat the, the coordinates of where the two lines intersect. I need I need everyone to do that, please. Inside the chat, put the coordinates of where the two lines intersect. Make sure for coordinates you put the parentheses because it is an ordered pair. All right. Again, put inside the chat the coordinates of where the two lines intersect. Again, put inside the chat the coordinates of where the two lines intersect. All right. Um, let's see what y'all have. I see three, four. I see four, three. I see... What is it? Three, four, four, three. M Myla. Where's Myla? Yes, sir. Um, is that how you draw? Is that how you indicate um coordinates? Is that how you indicate coordinates, Myla? Oh, I can't hear you. I corrected it. You corrected it, okay. Um, okay, good. Okay, so I see most persons putting four or three. Um, are you putting four or three because that's what everyone put in, or you understand how we got four or three? I understand how we get it. You understand how we got it? I understand. Okay. I understand. Right. Okay, good. Okay, so let's um let's go ahead and explain this. Um so let me explain it for those persons who do not understand how we got it. We want the point where the both of them intersect. Intersect means we say intersect, what does that mean? That means where they what? Line pass through each other. Where they meet. Yeah, where they meet, right? Or where they pass through each other. Um so we have this point right here. That's the point where they intersect. And let me just indicate that with an arrow. So this is the point of intersection. Mark, do you see that? Where's Mark? Yes, sir. That's the point of intersection right there. And so this is the point of intersection right there. So what we need to do is we need to figure what is that it what that is. This is what four, right? And this is what three. So the point of intersection is going to be what? Remember we always write we always write um the we always write the the x axis first then the y axis and so it's going to be the point let's call this intersection point 
intersection point. And so that's going to be the point four three. Four comma three. So we call it the intersection point right there. Four comma three. Right, that's the intersection point. So let's write that down. The intersection point is going to be four comma three. That's the intersection point. All right, so the intersection point is four comma three. How many persons got that right? Let me know if you got this right and put it inside the chat. I did. Very good. Anyone else? Four I comma did. three. Four comma three. I did. I did. I did. Okay. That's the answer for that one. Four comma three. So the point of intersection right there is four comma three. So we, we have and notice that notice this carefully what we have. We have let me um just a highlight. So what do we have? Well, we have highlighted, we use a different color. Say purple. So we have on the y axis we have three, right? On the x axis we have four, right? So four and three. And that's how we can determine the intersection point. We put four first and then three. Okay. Where's Mark? Mark, are you there? Yes, yeah. sir. You understand how we got four comma three? You understand that? Yes, sir. Okay, good. And where is uh Michael? Where's Michael? Michael. Yeah, so you understand what we're doing? Oh no. Yeah, so. Okay. So first of all, this is the first line that we drew. Y is equal to three, which is a horizontal line passing through three. And then the next line was X is equal to four. And where we where they meet, um, Michael, what's the point of where they meet? What's the coordinates of where they meet? Michael. Four three. Four three, very good. Myla, you understand this, right? Yes, sir. Okay. And okay, where is um Nevea Wallace? Where's Nevea Wallace? Nevea Wallace, yeah. where are you? Okay, do you understand how we got four three? I, yes, I think so. You think so? I'm not sure. Not sure. Okay. How about the lines? You understand how we got the lines? Yes. So. Okay. So just the point that you'd really get. So whenever you're doing, whenever we're writing the points, Nevea, we always write the x-axis first. What number is this one on the x-axis? Four. Four. That, that's why we have four here, right? And then we go up, right? And then we go across, all right? So it's going to be four and then what? Three. Four and three. So four and three. You see that? That's how we get this point of intersection. You understand now? Yes, yeah, sir. Good. Are you drawing this graph neatly in your book? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay, good. Um, Where is... Where is who else now? Paul, do you understand this? Paul Wong. Yes, sir. Good. And Randisha. Randisha, do you understand this? Where's Randisha? Okay, she does. Um, Samantha, you understand this? Where's Samantha Taylor? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and finish this. So we so far we've already drawn the line y is equal to three. We've already drawn the line x is equal to four. And we've already written the coordinates uh where they intersect, which is four, three. 
So the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to actually shade the region of the graph where y is greater than um, 3. So let's do that. So we want to shade. And this is very important right here. So we want to shade. Right? So this is question number 1, what? Call this 1. We have 1A, one 1B, one 1B. One, let's call this 1C. So 1C says that they want us to uh, shade shade the region, shade the region, shade the region of the graph where, wait, shade the region of the graph where y, where y is greater than, is greater than 3. Now, can someone give me the first six whole numbers that are greater than three? The first six whole numbers that are greater than three. Four. The first six number four is one. Uh huh. What else? Wait, let me let me go ahead and write it down. I need you all to answer me Five. because I'm not talking to myself. The first six whole numbers that are greater than three is going to be what? Four. Then what else? Five, six, seven. Five. Five, six, Five, six, six, seven. That's one, two, three, four. Eight. Eight. And then what? One, two, three, four, five, six, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. So these numbers, right? Are these numbers below three? Or are these numbers above three? Where are these numbers? Above. Above. above three, above three. So when they say shade the region, right, where y is greater than three, are we going to shade below three or are we going to shade above three? Shade above three. We're going to shade above, above three. Okay. So let's go ahead and shade above three. So when, you, when you're going to shade, you're going to use a pencil to shade it in. All right. And again, we're going to shade above three. Why? Because these are going to be the numbers that are bigger than three, right? So it's gonna be above it. And so let me clear all drawings. And so this is going to be, let me clear all drawings. So this is going to be, um, let me go ahead. And, uh, what can I color it with? I could color it with, let's see what's green. So I'm gonna shade in this portion, right? So all of this that is above, Yikes. I don't know. Okay, it'll be good. It'll be good. It'll be good. All this that's above three, I'm going to shade it in. If you have coloring pencils, you can shade it in with the coloring pencils if you got them. If you do not, then, well, you know, you just have to use a pencil, a regular pencil. So you're going to shade um, the numbers that are, shade the region that is above three. Shade the region that is above three. Okay. Shade the region that is above three. Again, shade the region that is above three. Right. All right. So when you when you're shading, make sure you use a pencil to shade, and especially when you're doing any graphing thing, you want to use a pencil when you're doing these. Don't do it with pen. With pen, it won't look good. All right, so here we're shading the region y is greater than three, which means that these numbers that are above here are definitely going to be bigger than bigger than three. So we're looking at numbers like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, because the graph continues, right? So these are going to be the numbers that are greater than three. Greater than three. You want to shade that. Okay. There we go. All right. All right. So that's how you shade it. Shade the line y is, y is greater than three. All right. Ajani, do you understand that? Do you, do you understand what we did just now? 
Yes, so. Okay, and Akira, do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, we shaded the region that are greater than three. Angel, do you understand that? That's Angel. Yes, sir. Okay. So, why did anyone can answer? Why did we shade above three? Why did we shade above three? Again, why do we shade above three and not below three? Anyone can answer. We shade it above three because we have to share the region of well, the numbers were greater than three. Very good. Well, why is greater than three? Latali, you wanted to say something? Why do we shade? I agree with her or him. Sorry, Myla. Yes, you're right. We shade the number, the region that is greater than three, the part where y is bigger than three. Numbers like four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and so on. Bri and Bri, do you all understand? Let me know, please. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Um, are you all shading this inside of your book? Yes, sir. Bri and Bri. Hey, Bri. Yes, sir. Good. And I'm going to put this x is equal to 4 down there because it's interfering with what I'm doing, what I have. All right, cool. I might even change the color. Change it to maybe black or something. Okay, that's black work. Okay, that's better. Even though I like the baby blue. We need something that works with our diagram. Okay, cool. And then we have, oh, can I get this? Oops. Okay, cool. Okay, good. So I think we have everything that we need. So again, okay, let me lower this some more. Okay. All right, so they basically that's what we did. That's what we did. So we shade in in here the region, and maybe we should put it out. This is the region y is greater than three right there. this is the region the reason the region in green okay that's the region y is greater than three where um where that's the region where we have all of the numbers that are bigger than three okay um okay so let's go ahead and do part d go ahead and do part d by the way please make sure shade this how many persons have shaded this inside of that book let me know please if you already shaded in i did I did. I did. All right, thank you. I Anyone did. else? Shade I did. It already. Thank you, China. Anyone else have shaded it? Let me know, please. If you shaded it in already. Yes, sir. Samantha. Only those four persons. Anyone yes, else have shaded it? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Um, yes, sir. Good. Chai, do you understand this? Yes, sir. Okay, so the next part is we're gonna say shade the region where um or maybe we should draw a line for a second. Let's draw the line first. Draw the line. Let's draw the line. Draw the line. Draw the line. Um X. Or y is equal to negative three. Mm -hmm. Y is equal to negative three. So if we want to draw the line y is equal to negative three, um, Latalia, what line would that be? Y is equal to negative three. How are we going to draw that line? Y is equal to negative three. So basically. We would look on our y our y axis. Uh -huh. We would go all the way down to where we see negative three. Uh huh. And we're going to draw a line across. Very good. So it's going to be horizontal line or vertical line. Is it going to I be a line? Is it going to be a line going from left to right or up and down? Natalia. Horizontal. 
horizontal. Very good. So it's going to be a horizontal line, Natalia, going from left to right. So let me increase this. This is going to be this. Um, where is Joseph? Joseph, are you there? Where's Joseph? Joseph, are you there? Yes, Do you understand how we got the line y is equal to negative three? How did we get that? Which three? Positive three or negative three? Um, we, put the, we put the line through what? Negative three, right? Good, and then it goes through negative three, and that's how we got y is equal to negative three. You understand that? That's right. And then we label it y is equal to negative three. Where is Shekinah? Shekinah, are you there? Yes, sir. Do you understand how we got the line y is equal to negative three? Yes, sir. Okay, how do we get it? You put the line through the... through the... X. We put it through, through the negative three. We put it through the negative three on the y axis. Very good. And where is where is Zara Hannah? Zara Hannah? Where's Zara Hannah? Do you understand what we're doing, Zara? Zara Hannah, let me know if you understand what we are doing. Um okay, she said she do. Um, China, I need you to explain how we got y is equal to negative three. Yes, so, so for y is equal to negative three, we have to look on the y axis and go down to the negative three. Then we have to draw a horizontal line going through negative three. Very good. Very good. So we have the line y is equal to negative three. Y is equal to negative three. It's a horizontal line passing through negative three on the y-axis. And there's a mark. There's a mark. Yes, sir. You understand how we got um y is equal to negative three? Yes, sir. What do we do? All right. Um, you find the y-axis and then you find negative three. Uh huh. And then you put a line to it. Very good. You put a line through negative three. Very good. And we label it y is equal to negative three. Good. Navea Wallace, do you understand this? Navea Wallace. Nevaeh Wallace, are you there? Count F from Nevaeh Wallace. Um. Okay. Where is Egypt? Egypt, are you there? Egypt, are you there? Where is Egypt? Um, Canada from Egypt. How about um, Ashton? Ashton, are you there? Where's Ashton? Oh, Ashton. I think that's the name. Um, Jaleel, you understand this, right? Where's Jaleel? Yes, sir. Are you drawing this graph in your book? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and do the next part. This is part one. For this part, we have one A, B, C, D, E. We have, um, we're going to call this one E. So I want you to shade the region. Shade the region where region of the graph, let's say shade the region of the graph. Shade the region of the graph where um, Y is less than is less than negative three. So shade the region of the graph where y 
is less than less than negative three. So let's go ahead and remind ourselves of what numbers are less than negative three. Give me six integers that are less than negative three. It's gonna be negative, negative two. Not negative two. No. Negative four. Negative four. What else? Negative five. Negative five. What else? Negative six. six. Negative six. Seven. Negative seven. What else? Eight. Negative eight. Negative eight. Nine. Negative eight. Nine. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. We need one more. Negative nine. Negative nine. So these numbers are what? Less than. Less than. Less than. Three. I mean, negative three. Now you might say, Mr. Petit, how can these numbers be less than negative three? Like negative four. How is negative four less than negative three? How is negative five less than negative three? How is that possible? Do you all know? Why is negative four negative five? Because negative every time you go back, subtract your one. Say it again. Every time you go back into your negatives, you subtract in one. Very good. Every time you go back, you subtract one. But why is it looking like the number's getting bigger? Anyone know? And why is it less? Does anyone have any answer? China, why is it less? Why is negative four, negative five, negative six? Why are they less than negative three? Uh, I don't know, but I can't explain it. Wait, it's because like, but then the bigger you go, it's like the smaller the number is because it's negative. So the further you go back, the less the number gets. Yes, the further you go back, the less the number gets. Very good, Michael. Why is, why is um, why are these numbers that look big, right? Why are they actually, um, why are they less than? Why are they less than negative three? Michael. Where's Michael? Michael, are you there? Can y'all hear me? I don't know if Michael can hear me. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, where's Michael? Michael, are you there? I can't hear from Michael. Um, Jaleel, why why are the numbers bigger? But they're less than negative three. They're bigger because every time, like, like every time you go back, you like subtract. Okay. So okay, let me explain it to you all in an interesting way. So, would you rather? Would you rather owe three dollars? Or would you rather owe four dollars? Which one would you rather? Four dollars. You rather owe four, you rather owe someone four dollars rather than owe someone three dollars? Oh three dollars. You always rather owe someone three dollars, right? Would you rather owe okay. someone nine dollars or owe someone three dollars? Three dollars. Three dollars. Yeah. Three dollars. So $3. Would, would you rather owe someone eight dollars or three dollars? Three. Three, right? So what is that saying? The more you go down, right? Like negative three, negative four, negative six. That means that the more in debt you are, that means you owe more. And so if you owe more, that means that you have less money because you have to pay back what you owe. So it's better that you owe less money. And so that's the idea of why the far you go back, it's actually less money because you actually are gonna be owing more to people. And if you owe more, then that means that you actually have a way less money. So um, that's why negative three is better than negative five or negative four, whatever. So if these numbers are less than, are they above negative three or below negative three? They are what? Below. Below. So we're going to shade what? We're going to shade below negative three. And so this is how we, this is... This is um the region we're gonna shade below negative three. And so 
the region y is less than negative 3 is going to be this red region right now. So let me shade it properly. Okay, so let me shade it properly. So, hello. so you want to shade the region x is, I mean y is less than negative 3. So let's shade that. Again, are we going to shade above or are we going to shade below? Let me know. Are we going to shade above or are we going to shade below? Below. Below, below negative 3. So let's shade it. And shading below below negative three um where is where's Kmar Kmar are you there Kmar are you there where's Kmar I can't hear from Kmar Kevin are you there Where's Kevin? What's up? Um, are we shading above negative three or below negative three? Below negative three. Below. Why are we shading below it? <clears throat> it's less than or greater than? It's less than. It's less than. That's why we're shading below it, okay? Understand me, Kevin? Yes, sir. Good. KC. Where's KC? Yes, sir. Are we shading above negative three or below negative three? Below negative three. Below. Why are we shading below? Because the numbers are less. It's our last time. Very good. And Latalia, are we shading above negative three or below negative three? Below. Below. Very good. And why are we shading below? Why are we shading because those? the numbers are less than because the numbers are less than very good. Um and Malik, are we shading above negative three or below negative three? Below so below why since. are we shading? Uh huh, since go ahead. Since the higher numbers on the well the supposed higher numbers on the inter um on the scale for integers and such, the, uh, the rule for integers is the farther away the number is from zero, the less they are. Uh huh. And so it's that below... would mean uh -huh. negative four and uh -huh. negative five are less than negative three uh -huh. since they're farther away from zero. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Very good. So Very that's good. my reason. Very good, Malik. Um, okay, if you are done with this graph, take a picture of it and send it to me via WhatsApp. With all of the with all of the shadings and all of the um labelings, I need you to take a picture of your work and send it to me, please. That's everyone, especially Ajani and Akira who don't like to send their work. I need everyone to take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. Um, again, take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. I need to see your graph. Again, take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. I need to see a picture of your graph. Again, take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. Again, take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. Again, I need everyone to take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. That's everyone, please. Again, I need everyone to take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. I see Samantha. Um, I see Mark. Um, Randisha. Natalia. Mark. Chalil. Chai. Nivia. Malia. Um, China. Um, Casey. Paul. Still waiting on Ajani, Akiro, and Kema. Where are those three persons? Where's Ajani, Akiro, and Kamar? Are y'all are y'all there? 
excuse me, but did I just arrived at class and I was asking, I was wondering if we're gonna send the notes what we did so this far. Is, this is the only slide. Yes, sir. Um, I need you to. Do you have this written down yet? No, sir. So where were you? I was on the road, my mommy. Okay. And where is Ajani? Ajani, are you there? Where's Ajani? I guess Ajani won't answer until I call his mother. Us his mother. Where's um Kima? I guess Kima won't answer until I call his mommy too. Um, again, I need everyone to take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp again. Take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. All right, Myla, where's Myla? Yes, sir. You send in your work yet? Yes, sir. Okay. Need drawing, by the way. Very neat. Um. Thank you. Very neat. Very neat. Nice. Um. I didn't. I don't see the 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 um questions. Send me the questions as well. Yes, sir. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and finish this up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you a great exercise. Um, Not send you. I'm going to actually put it on the board. And I want us to do it together. All right. Where's Michael? Michael, are you there? Where's Michael? I think Michael internet is not working. Um, Mark, have you sent in your work yet? Where's Mark? Yes, sir. Okay. Our drawings. All right, let's go ahead and do this. All right, so for this one, uh, let's say that we have, uh, so again, this is a great exercise. I need you all to do this for me. Okay, so for this one, we want to, I want us to draw the line y is equal to two. Then we're gonna draw that, draw in the, Draw in the line x is equal to um, x equal to three. We want to figure where they intersect, so we want to keep that there. Um, I want to know where they intersect. Um, and then we want to line draw the line y is equal to two. Then draw the line y is equal to negative two, and shade it in the region y is less than negative two. So this should be a straightforward application of what we just did. Um, hopefully you understand what to do. Again, you need to draw in your graph, right? Make sure to draw your graph. Um, I'm going to put the notes inside the chat once again for those persons who are just joining. Um, let me put the notes inside the chat for those persons who are just joining. Let me see. Did I, I, I didn't put in the first time, chat the first time. Okay, let me do that. I'm doing right now. Okay, for those of you who are just joining, uh -huh, go ahead. It was the last line, sir. Say it again. The last the line. line yes, I just did. Um, again, for those of you who haven't done it already, take a picture of your notes and send it to me via WhatsApp. Um, a Johnny, where's a Johnny? Yes. Can you see what I have in the side of the chat? Yes. Okay, good. And 
Akiro. Where's Akiro? Yes, sir. Um, do you see what I have in the chat? The chat? Are you writing that down? Yes, sir. Make sure you use a ruler and a pencil, Akiro. Yes, sir. And Angel, where's Angel? Yes, sir. Did you send in your work, Angel? Yes, sir. Um, do you understand what to do? Yes, sir. Okay, and Ashtan Web, where's Ashtan Web? Ashtan Web, I need a I need a photo of your work, please. Ashtan Web, I need a photo of your work. Um. Um. Thank you, Malik. Um. Re and Bri, what number y'all on? I'm still drawing the drawing the I'm chart. Drawing. You're still drawing the the graph. Yes, sir. Um. Bree, where's Bree? I'm here, sir. And yes, I'm still drawing the graph like my sister. Yeah, but you're doing the same thing I tell you not to do. And that is. Your your handwriting is deplorable. What you need to do is you need to write inside the lines. I keep on telling you that. Do you hear me, um, um, Bree? You have to write inside the lines yes. and print, and print the thing. You have to write better than this. You understand me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So when you when you send me the next one, it needs to be much better than this. Where's Bree? Where's um Bri? Bri, where's your work? I thought it was so to have said it now. Okay, and Chai? Where's Chai? Chai, are you there? Where's you say me, sir? There's only one Chai in here. Chai, what number you on? I'm on one C. Have you sent in your work yet? Yes, sir. Okay. And very good. Very good drawing. Yes, K Ma. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now. What happened? How come I couldn't hear you? My mic wasn't working. I was trying to unmute it, but it wasn't working. So where's your where's your notes? On the first slide. I still write it. Um, why are you still writing? What's taking you so long? I'm trying to figure out my mic was not working or not. Yeah, clearly the mic is not working. But I can hear, I can hear you now, so please finish the first slide. That shouldn't be taking you all that while. You were clearly distracted. I need to know what you'd be doing in the back now. Are you focused yeah, on so my work or are you doing something else? Focus on your work, sir. Okay. I need you to send a photo of your work as evidence that you're doing my work. Because you always have some sneaky tricks up your sleeve. Um where's um Michael? Michael, are you there? Yes, yeah, sir. When you draw the line X equals to four, it has to go all the way down. It can't just stop right there, it has to go all the way down. Yes, yeah, sir. And you didn't label the line y is equal to um negative three. Um yeah. where is um China? China, are you there? Yes, yeah, sir. Um so China, what number you on? I am number one. Number one. Do you understand what to do? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. Very good drawing. I like the coloring pencils. And I mean, you, you know, China. Oh, thank you. It touches me, Sonia. Um, Dia. Where's Dia John? Dia Gip. Dia Johnson. 
Adia Gibson, sorry. Where's Dia? Where's Dia? Dia, are you there? Down here from Dia. Um, Dia, where's your notes? Where's your notes, Dia? Where's your notes? Where are your notes? I'm still drawing. But you need to hurry up because we're on the great exercise now. And um, where's Ashtan? Ashtan Webb, are you there? Ashtan Webb, if you're there, you need to send in your work. You need to send in your notes, Ashtan. Um, okay, let's move on. Jaleel Lang, where's Jaleel? Did you send in your work, Jaleel? Pardon me? Did you send in your work? Yes, yeah, so. Put them you on now. I'm on C. Let's see. Um, you are not labeling these things. Where's Jaleel? Yeah, so. I didn't put the label on them stuff for pretty. You have to label them. That's very important. So make sure I label them on your first graph. You understand me? Yeah, so. Um. Where's Prashan? Prashan, are you there? Where's Prashan? Yes, yeah, sir. What number are you on right now? Number seven. Number seven, okay. Do you are you understanding it? Yes, yeah, sir. Um so you saw I how I did the upper bound and lower brown, right? Yes, yeah, sir. Good. And one, what number are you on? One, what number are you on? You calling me? Yeah, what number are you on? Oh, I had a volume, it looks like it here. I'm on number eight. Okay. Are you understanding what's happening? Yes, sir. I do. Okay. All right. Um, I need to know. Latalia, what number you want? Where's Latalia? Latalia, can you hear me? You call me, Mister Petit. Yeah. What number you want? Number one C. One C. Okay. Did you send in the um? Did you send in the first one? Yes, so. Okay. And Malik Roll, what number you want? I'm still drawing the graph, so I've been hung up with trying to redrawing this graph and then drawing it. 
because I didn't have enough space on the previous page. Mm -hmm. Okay. And where is uh Mark? Mark, what number are you on? Number one C. One C. Um, Nevea Wallace, where's Nevea Wallace? Nevea Wallace, are you there? Where's Nevea Wallace? Nevea yes, Wallace, sorry. one moment. Nevea Wallace, where's Nevea Wallace? Yes. What number you on? What number you on? One C. One C. Did you send the notes for the first one? No, sir. I need you to send the notes, please. All right, is there anyone who else who is finished? I mean, if you're finished with this, I mean, if you're finished, yes, sir. You I am. Okay. I am. Okay, my list finished. I am. Chai. Okay. okay, okay, let's go over it. For those of you who are still working, once you finish, please take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. China, you finished? No, sir. Okay, Shakina, where's Shakina? Um, um, have you sent in the notes yet? Oh, no, so I didn't get to write it because we're in the call. Okay. Um, how about this great exercise? Are you, are you doing it? No, so. So when are you going to do the great exercise? When we get home. Okay. Uh, let me, um, let me post it inside the chat once again for you all who are still working. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going, by the way, for those of you who are finished, take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. Again, for those of you who are finished, take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. And what we're going to do is we have to, we have to do, we have to draw the line Y is equal to two. And Myla, tell me how we're going to draw this line. Yes, sir. In order to draw the line y is equal to 2, we have to go on the y-axis and find the number 2, then draw a line horizontally through the number 2. Very good. So we got to go to line, go to the line y is equal to 2. I mean, go to locate 2 on the y-axis, right, and then draw a horizontal line um, that goes through 2 on the y-axis, and then we have to label it. So let's label it. We're going to label this y equals to y equals to 2. y equals to 2. Um, did anyone else get this? y is equal to 2? Let me know if you got this, please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. y is equal to 2. Good. So this is the line y is equal to 2. Very good. And then we have um then we have x is equal to three. Nivea, can you tell me how we're gonna get x equals to three? Yes, sir. 
please. Yes, yeah, so, uh, you are gonna look on the uh, the x axis yeah. and you're gonna find three uh -huh. and you draw the line through that three. Very good. So we're gonna go to the line. Um, go to la go to the. We're gonna locate three on the x axis, right? And then draw a line that goes up and down, or a, a a vertical line up and down, that goes through three on the x axis. And then we're gonna label it. So it's gonna label it x is equal to not four this time, but x is equal to three. Let me know if you got this one, please. Again, let me know if you got this one. X equals to three. Thank you. Let me know. Jevin, yes, anyone else? Paul, anyone else? Got X is yes, equal to three. Samantha. I did. Myla. Just those four. Anyone else got X is equal to three? I did. Okay. I did. I did. Good. Um, for those of you, of you who are finished, take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp again. For those of you who are finished, take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. I need a Johnny's work. I need a Kiru's work. And I need Kmar's work. I need the three of y'all work. You all are not sending me the work. And Dia Gibson, I need your work, please. So we get that x, y is equal to two, x is equal to three. Um, now we have to find the point of intersection. And Natalia, what is the point of intersection for this? These two lines. What is the three point? Three comma two. Three comma two. Very good. Three comma two. So intersect the line of intersection is. 3, 2. Did anyone else get that before we gave the answer out? Did anyone else get it? Yes, okay. yes, sir. 3, yeah. comma 2. Very good. Yes, 3, comma 2. 3, comma 2 is correct. Um, Next, we want to shade the region of the graph where y is greater than 2. Chai, tell me, are we going to shade above or are we going to shade below? Above. We're going to shade above. Very good. So we're gonna shade above, and so this is gonna look like, um, we're gonna shade above, above two on the, up here. So we're gonna be shading this, um, and angel. Where's angel? Where's angel? Angel, can you hear me? Where's angel? Can I from Angel? Um, Jaleel, are we gonna shade above two or below two? Above. Why are we shading above? Because it's greater, it's greater than. Very good, because it's greater than. And Nivea Garden, why are we shading above two? Because the numbers above two are greater than the number Great. two. Very good, because it's greater than two. That's what we instructed to do. Shade y is equal to two. Shade it y is greater than two. We're gonna shade above, above. Okay, above it. Um, let me know if you shade it above it, please. Let me know if you shade it above for y is greater yes, than sir. two. Okay, Samantha. Yes, sir. Y. I did. Okay, Milo. Again, if you finish with your work, take a picture of it and send it to me via WhatsApp again. Once you finish with your work, take a picture of it and send it to me via WhatsApp. I need a Johnny's work. I need a Kiro's work. I need Nevea Wallace's work. Those are the persons who normally don't send me their work. So I need your work, please. For this one, make sure that you are labeling it. So make sure you label Y is equal to 2. Make sure you label X is equal to 3. All right? Make sure you label these things. And by the way, I should put my point of intersection because my point of intersection is right here. Let me get this point. The point of intersection, which is right here. And then let me just label that point of intersection. Again, if you finish with your work, take a picture of it and send it to me via WhatsApp again. Once you finish with your work, take a picture of it and send it to me via WhatsApp. This is called the intersection point. intersection point.
Okay, so the next part, it says draw in the line y equals to negative 2. Um, Mark, where's Mark? So, um, where is where's the line y is equal to negative two? Um, it, I I can't show you wait. Like explain it to me. What we gonna do? We gonna go down. Uh -huh. um, so tell me, where's the arrow? Where's the arrow? Where are we gonna go down? Right there. So, no, so. Right there? Yes, sir. Okay, and then we're going to draw a line diagonal or left to right? That, I mean, left to right. Left to right, very good. And that's going to be the line y is equal to negative 2. So it's going to be going to, first, what the first thing we're going to do is locate, locate y is equal, well, locate negative 2 on the y axis. We're going to do locate negative 2 on the y-axis and then draw a line through negative 2 on the y-axis. So that's but this different color. Let's say that this is red. Okay, did anyone get y is equal to um y is equal to negative 2? Let me know if you got that for me, please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y is equal to negative yes, 2. Very good. Y is equal to negative 2. Anyone else got that? Y is equal to negative 2? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, good. All right, good. All right, let's move on. All right, let's move on. All right. All right, let's move on to the next one. It says graph shade or shade where y is less than negative 2. Again, shade where y is less than negative 2. Um, okay, Um. where is Paul? Yes, sir. Um, y is equal to negative two. Where is um where is that? Above two or below two? Below two. Below two, very good. So we're gonna share this. We're gonna share this below two. Why are we shading below two, Paul? Because negative the lower the higher the negative number, the smaller it is. Very good. So we're gonna these are less than two or greater than two? Less than two. Less than two, very good. And these are less than two. This is y is equal to negative two. These are gonna be less than, less than two. Less than negative two, that is. Okay, we are shading below negative two. How many persons remember the shade below negative two? Let me know, please. If you remember the shade I below did. negative two. I did. Very good. Only two persons. Anyone else remember the shade below negative two? Yeah. Let me know if you did that. Anyone else shade it below negative two? I did. Okay. So we are shading below negative two. And so we're gonna shade all this below. Um, and so that I think that was the last one that we have to do. So all we need to do is shade below negative two. Why are we shading below negative two? These are the numbers that are less than negative two. All right. So we're looking at negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six. These numbers that we're shading here represents numbers that are less than negative two. And so we shade 
this right here as y is less than negative two. Okay, so it's the region that this is the region that we're shading right here. All right, so that is all of the questions. So we did, um, we did one a i one a double i one b one c one d one e. Is there anyone who got all right? Let me know if you got all right, please. I did. I did. Earlier, I Samantha. Did. I did. Uh, Myla, I Angel, did. Michael, anyone else got all right? Let me know if you got all right. Yeah, I did. Guy. I did. I did. Good. Jaleel, Malik. Uh, if you got all right, please put I inside the chat again. If you got all right, please put I inside the chat again. If you got all right, please put I inside the chat. Um, if you got one wrong, please put Y. If you got one wrong, please put Y. And if you got two wrong, please put N. All right. Um, again, if you got all right, please put I. If you got two wrong, please put N. If you got one wrong, please put Y. All right. All right. So how do you all feel about this topic? Is this easy, difficult, medium? How do you feel about it? Easy. 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 Easy peasy. Easy. Easy. Okay. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Like they like to say. So that's how we find, that's how we basically find like uh, inequalities when, 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 we're, when we're dealing with um, stuff on the XY plane, all right? So if you're dealing with stuff on the XY plane and not just, you know, regularly when we look on the X, on the X axis, when we're doing stuff with on the rectangular coordinate system, we have to, um, we have to look at, um, we have to look at where we are and then shade either above it, right? Or shade below it, all right? And so that's what we need to do. Um, let's do another question. Um, this is a nice question. Let's, um, let's do it. I want us to look at, yeah, let's, but here yeah, for this one, we're gonna use a grid, right? But the grid that we're gonna use only has X and Y axis on it for positive values, including zero. So we're gonna look at something that's like this, all right? So, um, so draw in something like this. Um, I want this to be design. Let's apply the slide to slide. So let's look at something like this. I wonder where I should put it. Let's put it here and then the question says, um, question A, question A. This one is actually for two points. Um, it says, using the equation, y is equal to um, 2x plus one, um, 2x plus one, calculate the value of y when x is equal to two. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to actually calculate the value of y. So let me explain to you what's happening here. By the way, please draw in this draw in this graph, and we're going to be looking at how to complete the table. All right, so basically what we have here is we have the equation for a line. The line is 2x plus 1, and they want us to calculate the value of y when x is equal to two. So we have, again, y is equal to two x plus one. And we want to calculate the value of y when x is equal to two. What do we know so far? Well, we know that when x is one, y is three. When x is zero, y is one. When x is two, we don't know what this y value is going to be. And so we need to figure what is, well, what is the value of this y value when x is two? The good thing about this is that they told us um, they told us what the x value is, so we don't have to guess. So let's do that. So since we know what the x value is, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, okay, well, let me um, shade this in. What we know is we know that x, right? X is equal to, x is equal to, x is equal to two, that's what we know. And so since x is equal to two, that's what we're gonna, Keep in mind, the formula that we have is y 
is equal to what's the formula please y is equal to what this is the formula what's the formula y is equal to what 2x plus, plus 1 very good y is equal to 2x plus 1 y is equal to 2x plus 1 now, y is equal to 2x plus 1. So, let me ask you a question. What is x? What is x? x is what? x is 2. x is what? 2. Based on this one, x is 2, right? So, wherever, yeah, we, but... see, wherever we see x, instead of writing x, we're going to put what? 2. We're going to put 2. So, we're going to substitute, right? So, y is equal to 2 open bracket, instead of putting x, we're gonna put what? Two, right? Two. Right, plus- I mean, Mr. Bajik, can we draw this, so? Yes, definitely draw it. I said that before. Were you listening? You yes. have to be listening, you have to be listening, Malik. I said you have to draw this, right? Yes, sir. So, y is equal to two times two plus one. Now, what is two times two? What is two times two? Four. Two times two is four. So we have four plus one. Plus one. Yeah, four plus five. one. And what is four plus one? That's gonna be what? Five. It's gonna be five. five. Four plus one is definitely five. And so what does that tell us? That tells us that the y value that is missing from right there is going to be five. Right? So when x is Two, y is what? Y is what? Five. Y is five. Right? Y is five. Um, Myla, you understand how we got y is five? Yes, sir. Explain it for me, please. Okay. But yes, sir. So the formula is x equals two over y equals two x plus one, and when you move down to the next step of formula, it's two times two, which is four plus one. Four plus one equals five, making y equals five. Very good. Where's Ajani? Ajani, are you there? Yes. Um, take a picture of your work and send it to me, please. Again, take a bit. Where's Ajani? Ajani. Ajani. Yes, sir. Take a picture of your notes and send it to me, please. I don't know why I have, I have to keep on running after you for notes. Does that make sense? The answer is no, Ajani. Send your work. The same thing for Akiro. Where's Kema? Where's Kema? Wait, let me guess. Oh, your mic ain't working this time, right? Really? Hey, Ma, you need to send in your work. Where's Akiro? Where's Akiro? Ajani, Akiro, and um, Hey, Ma, y'all need to send in your work, man. All right, so where's Nevea? Ne Nevea Wallace? Nevaeh Wallace. Hello, Nevaeh Wallace. Yes, sir. You have been sent in your work, and I've been asking for your work for a long time. Please send in your work, man. Do you have me? Mean... So what happened to your phone? I don't have it right now. Well, when your mommy comes back, you need to, you need to take a picture of your, of your work from your mother's phone. You understand me? Yeah, so. Okay. Um, and Akiro, where's Akiro? Akiro, I need you to take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. All right, let's go on to the next part of this question. So, um, Nivea Garden, explain how we got Y is equal to five. Yes, yeah, so. So, um, the instruction says using the equation y equals 2x plus 1, calculate the value of y when x equals 2. 
-hmm. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna rewrite we're gonna rewrite y equals um we're gonna write y equals two x plus one. So then we're going to do y equals, in parentheses, no, not yet, y equals 2, in parentheses, 2, close parentheses, plus 1. So, um, so 2, that's 2 times 2, and that gives you 4. Mm -hmm. And we're going to bring down the 1. So then you would plus... Then you would add four plus one, and that gives you five. And that's how we got y equals to five. Thank you. Angel, where's Angel? Angel, are you there? Where's Angel? Can I from Angel? Um, Chai, where's Chai? Yes, sir. You understand how we got y is equal to five? Yes, sir. Explain how we got that. Go ahead, Chai. Explain how we got y is equal to 5. We use the formula y equals to x to x plus 1. There's an echo on your side, so let me let Latali explain how we got it. Sally, how we got y is equal to 5? So basically, we use x equals to 2. Mm -hmm. So y equals 2x plus 1. Mm -hmm. Then you go y equals 2 times 2 plus 1. And then mm -hmm. you go y equals 4 plus 1 and y would equal to 5. Very good. So y would equal to 5. And Jaleel, explain how we got y is equal to 5. Explain the... Pardon me? Explain how we got y is equal to 5. Yeah. Okay. Pardon? So... It's not okay. Yeah, so... Go ahead. We... First, we start off by writing out the formula mm -hmm. y equals 2x plus 1. Mm -hmm. And x is equals to 2. So we rewrite it and it becomes y equals 2. And then put the parentheses and then put 2 in the parentheses plus 1. Mm -hmm. And you solve the parentheses and then you rewrite the formula and then it becomes y equals 4 plus 1 and then you solve it and then it becomes y equals 5. Very good. Let me first understand how we got y is equal to 5. Let me know please. You understand how we got y is equal to 5? I do. China, let me know. I do. Samantha. Okay. I do. Very good. Um. So let's go ahead and the next. So we know that 1 is equal to 1 where whenever x is 1, y is equal to 3. Whenever x is 0, y is equal to 1. Whenever x is 2, y is equal to 5. What we want to do here is we want to plot the point. So let's do that. Okay. So let's plot the points. So at least, well, before you even plot the points, let me just put the instructions. Um, plot the points using the information from the table. And then we want to join the points to form a straight line. So let's write that information now before we actually get into it. The clue for the question. So, part B and part C. So, I need um Paul. Where's Paul? Where's yes, Paul? sir. Can you read part B? Plot the points using the information from the table above. Very good. And part C? Join the points to form a straight line. Very good. Join the points to form a straight line. So where is... um? 
Where's Michael? Michael, can you read part B and C for me? Yes, sir. B says, plot the points using the information from the table above. Mm -hmm. C says, join the points to form a straight line. Very good. Join the points to form a straight line. So if you want to join the points, well, let's first plot the points. So that's the first order of business. We want to plot these points. So the first point is going to be, um, let's use a different color. Let's use, say, green. So the first point is going to be the point one, three, the point one, three. So we're going to go on the X axis, go for one. And then on the Y axis, we're going to three. So it's going to be the point one, three right there. All right. That's the point one, three. Do you all see that? Let me know, please. If you see that, this is the point one, three. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So point one, comma three. Then okay. we have... Good. Then we have the point zero one, zero one. Now zero one, what does that mean? Because some people might be confused. So it's zero one, right? Zero one means that on the x axis we go at zero, and on the y axis we go for one. So zero one will be this this point right here, the point zero one. Okay, that's the point zero one. And then the last point is the point two five. The point two five. So on the x axis we're looking at two, and then on the y axis we're looking at five. So the point two five will be this particular line. The point two five. All right. So we have one comma three. We have zero, one, and we have two, and five. All right. And so that's how we are able to graph that, I mean, plot the points, okay? Randish, you understand how we got the points? And Samantha, do you understand how we got the points? Yes, sir. Shekinah, do you understand how we got the points? Yes, Shekinah. Yes, sir. Okay, how we got the point one, three, how did we do that? What, what, what axis did we start off with? The x axis, the x axis, very good. And so we have one, three, so we're gonna one on the x axis, and on the y axis, we're gonna go what five. No, it's one, three. So on the x axis, we go one, and on the y axis, we're gonna go what three, three, very good. Um, and Nevea Wallace, you understand how we got the points? Where's Nevaeh Wallace? Nevaeh Wallace, are you there? Where's Mark? Mark, are you there? Do you understand how we got the points for this? Yes, sir. Okay, I get barely at you. Do you understand how we got it? Yes, sir. How do we got the point two five? What axis do we start off with? The uh, x axis. The x axis, and then we go up five. What axis is this? The y axis, right? Yes, sir. And that's where the point two five is. All right. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna plot the we're gonna join the points to form a line. Right. So we're gonna join the points to form a line. So let's join the points. So the point go from here all the way to there, all the way to there. I mean, we could continue with this if we want. Um, oh, right there, all the way here. All right, so that's gonna be our line. Uh, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be our line right there. And so that's the line y is equal to, let's label the line, that's the line y is equal to, um, 2x plus 1. Y is going to be equal to 2x plus 1. That's that line. So let's label it. This is the line. Um, y is equal to. Y is equal to 2x plus 1. 
All right, does everyone understand how we got our line drawn? Let me know, please, if you understand how we got our line drawn. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Yes, sir. I understand. Understand? Yeah. Good. Good. I'm not only talking yes, to four persons. Anyone else understand how we got the line drawn? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You really do not understand. So, yes, sir. Um, Natalia, you don't understand? I confuse just a little bit. A little bit? Which part you confuse? The line. The line? Okay. Do you understand how we got the points? Yes, sir. So just just connect the dots. So this oh. one, that's all. This one connect with that one, and that one connect with that one. We just connect it. All right. Um. So, so okay. go ahead. So we have to draw it past the last line too, like how you do it. Past the last point. Yes, sir. I mean, they say join the points to form a line. I mean. Still the same line, you know what I mean? I mean, whether you extend it or not, they didn't say, I mean, either way, the points are still joined, joined. So whether you stop at two or whether you extend it over, it doesn't matter. Still the same line, okay? Um, Where's Sabria? Where's Sabria? Sabria, are you there? Can we have from Sabria? No, I didn't have from Sabria. Okay. Um. Okay. Now the next part of this question, where we're gonna get into our inequalities, is the following. So we gotta have an inequality in there, right? So this one says, part. Let's call this one part. B. Um. Draw. The line. Let's say draw the line. Y is equal to three. Let's see. Draw the line. Y is equal to three. Okay. And then for part A C D E, and then for part E, I want us to shade in the region in the region y is greater than three okay should we do y so that's done three. since we already do y is greater than three let's do y is less than three y is less than three all right this is good so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw the line y is equal to 3. And can, some, can someone tell me where I'm going to draw that line y is equal to 3? How are we going to draw it? Anyone could answer? How are we going to draw the line y is equal to 3? We go down. No, we don't go down. You want the line y is equal to 3? You find oh, a lot of you talking at once. How are we gonna get the line y is equal to three? What are we gonna do? Samantha. I'm gonna do it on the y axis tree and go horizontal. Okay, thank you. And Myla, you saying something? I'm saying it's okay to see on the y axis and draw a horizontal line to it. I could barely hear you say it again. You have to locate the three on the y axis, then draw a horizontal line to it. Very good. So you have to go to, you have to locate three on the y axis, right? And then we're going to draw a horizontal line that goes through three. Where is. Um, what's his name? Ajani. Ajani, are you there? Yes. Um, explain to me how we're gonna get the line y is equal to three. How we're gonna get the line. So you have x equal 
equals to 2 and and y equals to 2x plus 1. And then you get 2, 2, 2, and 1, 2, 2, 2, and plus 1. And then you get y equals 4 plus 1, and then that will give you 5. Okay, that's how we got 5. Good. But how are we going to get the line y is equal to? Because they say, yeah, draw the line y is equal to 3. How are we going to draw that line? Do you know how to draw this line, y is equal to 3? Yes, sir. Oh, how are we going to draw it? You draw it on the graph. Okay, what, what number we have to look for? 1 and 3. You have to look for 3, right? And then we have to draw a line that goes left to right or up and down. Pardon me? After we locate 3, right? Remember, we're trying to draw the line y is equal to 3. After we locate 3 on the y-axis, we're going to draw a line through it. Does that line go up and down, or does it go left or right? Left and right. Left and right. And so we're going to label this line y is equal to? Y is equal to 3. 3. Um, where's Akiro? Akiro, are you there? Where's Akiro? Where's the hero? Yes, sir. Where's your notes? I'll send them, sir. Always go, 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 go. I need you to send your notes, please. Um, let's go ahead and all right. Let's go ahead and. All right, let's go ahead and so now we want to shade the region y is less than three. If we want to shade the region where y is less than three, tell me, is it are we gonna shade above three or are we gonna shade below three? Below below okay, three. We're gonna shade below three. Why are we shading below three? Because the numbers below three are numbers less than three. Very good, because the numbers below three are the numbers less than three. And so let's go ahead and shade it. So it's going to be, we're going to shade it like so. So we're going to shade the ones below three. Mark, do you understand this? Where's Mark? Yes, yeah, sir. How about you, Malik? You understand this? Yes, sir, I do. And Navea Wallace, where's Navea Wallace? Navea Wallace, where's Navea Wallace? Are you there? Can't have from her. Casey and Kevin, do you all understand this? Yes, sir. Yes. Why do we shade um for y is less than three? Why do we shade below? Because it is less than because it is le less than three. Yeah, because these numbers are less than three. Okay, these numbers are less than three. Um and Where's Kemar? Kemar, are you there? Where's Kemar? Can't have from Kemar. Paul, do you understand why do we have... um? Where's Paul? Yes, sir. Do you understand why do we have um? it going below three? Yes, sir. Why do we have it going below three? Because you're saying less than three. Very good. Because it's less than three. All right, so it's going to be why is less than three. So these are going to be the numbers less than three. Y is less than three. 
why it's less than three. Okay. All right. Um, if you understand it, if you understand how to do this, please put I inside the chat. Again, if you understand how to do this, please put I inside the chat. If you do not understand, please put N. Okay. But if you do understand, please put I inside the chat. After you do that, I need you to go ahead and uh, take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp again. I need you all to go ahead and take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. Again, I need you to go ahead and take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. Send you my work. All right, go ahead and take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp again. Go ahead and take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. Um, I need everyone to send in their work, please. Again, I need everyone to send in their, their work. Um, go ahead and take a picture of it and send it to me via WhatsApp. Okay. All right, again, go ahead and take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. How many persons have already done that? Let me know if you've already done that. Let me know if you've already done that, please. I have. I have. I have. All right, good. Okay, so if you've already done that, then let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and go on to English language. Right, so we're gonna head up for English language and then we can get it sorted out. Um by the way, let me put this inside the chat, especially for those persons who are still writing. Um who haven't um who haven't gotten it yet. I'm gonna put it inside the chat for you. I'm also gonna put the previous one inside the chat as well. Again, for those persons who are who are still writing and still need these notes. Where's Kima? Kima, are you there? I don't from Kima. But again, I have posted the, first, the most recent two. 
and it's going to be the last one that we did. This is the third one, which is actually the first one. All right, so let's go ahead and go to English language. Okay, so um, let's um, change the design here. Let's get an interesting design. Um, let's see, something like this, long overdue, long overdue. So today is what, Monday? Today is Monday, the 1st of April, 2024. The subject is, of course, the subject is, of course, um, English language. And for English language, I want us to look at, um, I want us to look at the topic. Everyone, most of us, most of us, if not all of us, know what I mean by a metaphor, right? Do you all, yes, you all, sir. You all know what I mean by a metaphor, right? Okay, good. So, yes, sir, in metaphor. Go ahead. What is a metaphor? A metaphor. A metaphor is a me like comparison of comparing two unlike things. Okay. Yeah. But simile is also compared to unlike things. What is the difference between a simile? Without and a the words like or as. Very good, without the words like or as. So, so we're going to be looking at identifying and explaining metaphors. Because many of you know how to identify it. Go ahead. Um, I posted all three inside the chat. All three. Uh, a lot, many of us know how to identify a metaphor. But do we understand how to explain it? And that's what this that's what this um topic is gonna be about. Like how do we explain what these metaphors mean? All right. So what we're gonna do first is I'm going to, you know, basically give you a passage. We're gonna we're gonna read it together. Um and we're gonna write it down. And then what we're gonna do in the passage is we're gonna identify the metaphors that that we see. And then after that, we're going to, um, after we identify them, then we're going to explain exactly what do they mean, all right? Because sometimes they ask you to explain what the metaphors mean. You need to understand what they mean and the steps that comes along with um, identifying it and explaining it. Okay, so um, let's begin with writing down. It's only going to be a paragraph. So I'm just going to give you a paragraph. And in this paragraph, um, we're going to have a bunch of metaphors. And then we're going to, you know, I'm going to ask you to explain, like, what these metaphors mean. Okay. So let's go ahead. And today is what? So let's go ahead and write down this paragraph. Okay. So... Again, write down this paragraph with me. I need you to write down this paragraph. So the paragraph says, um, in, that's um, that's indent. So that's indent. So in the garden, in the garden of life, hope is the sunlight. Hope is the sunlight that coaxes hope is a sunlight that coaxes dreams from the soil of despair turning them turning them or we could say turning barren barren um, barren lands into uh, lush landscapes. Courage. Courage is the is the sturdy is the sturdy tree 
that stands tall its roots delving its roots delving deep into the earth of conviction never swing never swing in the stormy in the stormy clouds of doubt love is the river that carves write this down for me please that carves its way through the hardest rocks of isolation leaving behind fertile fertile valleys of connection time Um, all right, time is the silent thief. Right, time is time is a silent thief. It's shadows. Shadows. Or oh, shadowy fingers. It's shadow shadowy fingers slipping through the hourglass unseen stealing moments with the stealth the stealth of a cat In the night. Lastly, memory. Memory is the quilt. Memory is the quilt stitched together. From the fabric of our experiences each patch of us each part of story wrapping us with warmth with the warmth of our own history. Okay, so that is the paragraph that we have there. I need you to write down this paragraph. Um, I need readers, I need several persons to read this. Any volunteers to read? Any volunteers? Mm -hmm. Myla, you wanna read? Me? And one you wanna read? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, go ahead, um, Myla. Read it for me, please. Yes, sir. In the garden of life, hope is the sunlight that coaxes the dream from the soil of despair, turning barren lands into lush landscapes. Courage is a sturdy tree that stands tall, 
its roots, its roots delving deep into the earth of conviction, never swaying in the stormy gales of doubt. Love is the river that carries its way through the hardest rocks of isolation, leaving behind the fertile valleys of connection. Time is the silent thief, its shadowy fingers slipping through the hourglass unseen, stealing moments with the stealth of a cat in the night. Lastly, memory is the quilt stitched together from the fabric of our experiences. Each patch a story, wrapping us with the warmth of our own history. Thank you, Myla. You should be a narrator. Some movie. <laughs> Thank you. That sounds like a poem. Yeah, it does sound like a poem. Um, go ahead, one. In the Garden of Life, hope is the sunlight that coaxes dreams from a soil of despair, turning barren lands into lush landscapes. Courage is the sturdy tree that stands tall. Its roots to its roots delving deep into the earth of conviction, never swaying in the stormy gales of doubt. Love is the river that carves its way through the hardest rocks of isolation, leaving behind fertile valleys of connection. Time is the silent thief, its shadowy, its shadow fingers slipping through the hourglass unseen, stealing moments with the stealth of a cat in the night. Lastly, memory is the quilt stitched together from the fabric of our expression. I mean, stitched, stitched together from the fabric of our experiences. Each patch a story, wrapping us with the warmth of our own history. I like that. Thank you. One. Okay, so our objective here is very simple. We need to identify first. We need to first identify the metaphors. Identify the metaphors. So can someone tell me? I want to identify five metaphors. So um we, we only need five. I only want five. So can anyone identify the five metaphors that are inside of this um paragraph? Let's identify. I have one. Go ahead. What is your one? Um my own is time is a silent thief. It's Very shadowy good. fingers slipping through. Very good. Time is the silent thief. So let me say time is, remember, um, metaphor does not use like or as. So when we say is, we, love is the river. So time is a silent thief. That's the one. And then someone say love is. Love is the river. Love is the river. That's another. I have one. Go ahead. Wait, wait, let, wait let's, the... let's do, let's do love is the river. Love is the river. Okay. So time is the silent thief. Love is the river. What else do we have? Courage is the sturdy tree. That's the Very good. Courage Memory is, good. is the quilt. Memory is the quilt. So courage is the sturdy tree. Memory is the quilt. Where is that? Memory is the quilt. There we go. Memory is the quilt. Right? Uh-huh. How much that is so far? We have one, two, three, four. I need one more. Hope is the sunlight. Hope is the sunlight that coaxes dreams from the soil of despair. Very good. Hope is the sunlight. Hope is the sunlight. Very good. So these are our five metaphors. Number one, hope is the sunlight. Right. Courage is the sturdy tree. Love is the river. Time is the silent thief. And memory is the quilt. So those are our five metaphors. So. Let me put on this side the instructions. So what I want us to do is um, identify. Oopsies, I got it. So we want to identify, identify, and briefly explain the meaning of five metaphors in And then you put instructions there, yeah, instructions. So you want to identify and explain. So we have two things we want to do. We want we not only want to identify what the metaphor is, but we want to explain it. Right? So identify and briefly explain the meaning of five metaphors in the paragraph. 
All right. So the first one we have is number one, hope is the sunlight. So how are we going to explain that hope is the sunlight? We, we know that's a metaphor, but how are we going to explain it? Why does it say that hope is the sunlight? How are we going to explain that? Uh, what the author was trying to do by saying hope is the sunlight? What is the, what does that mean? Hope is the sunlight. Hello? Um, hope is the sunlight. Um, what does that mean? Okay, when, when, okay, when the sun shines, um, oh, shoot. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to put it into words. Go ahead. When the sun shines. Go ahead. Mm. You get in there. You, you, like, you, 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 you on your way. Anyone else? Want it's to... not, I mean, it shines hope. <laughs> no, that's not, no, it doesn't shine hope. No. Oh. Uh, me? Anyone, anyone else want to try? Why are we saying hope is the sun? What does that mean? Why would the author say hope is the sun? They give us peace. They give us what? Peace. They give us peace. It probably means like hope is, uh, it shines brightly or something along that line. Okay, okay, okay. How is, how is hope and... Okay. Because hope sweetens the memories of experiences. Hope sweetens the memory. Hope sweetens the memories of experiences. Ah, uh, but we're talking about dreams. It says hope is the sunlight that coaxes dreams from the soil of despair, right? Turning barren lands into lush landscapes. So, it's like it, it, it the casts us the shadow it, of our burdens behind us. No, we're talking about dreams here. Okay, oh, I think, or like when we look at the sun, uh huh. When we look at the sun, we reminisce or remember the hopeful memories that was given unto us. No, we talking about it says it Mr. coaxes Please. dreams. Uh -huh, go ahead. Um. Okay, that's what I got for from that. Okay, like hope is the sunlight. Well, we know like with the sun, like when it rises, like uh -huh. it. Let me see how I can put this. It sheds light. Exactly. On darkness. Exactly. exactly. So as it relates to dreams. Um, hope. Maybe I could put this. Yeah, you got the first part right the with light. Like mm -hmm. that's what I was trying to yeah. Like, what does what does the sun do? The sun gives what? Light. Right. The sun light. gives light, right? So, what does hope do to our dreams? Give us light. Give us light. Give it. Hey. Give it. Give it life and light and what else? It brightens our dreams. It, it brightens the dreams. Like we can see clearer. Exactly. It, if, it, if, if, if you if you was if you was it, it says there from the soil of despair. That means that if you felt that it couldn't it couldn't happen, if you have hope, then you could feel like wow, like I believe this thing actually could happen, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. so it, so what we could say is, um, if we had explain it, we can say um. Uh, let's see. We can say, um, let me move this. We can say the author. Okay. The author compares. Compares um, hope to the sun. Implying. Implying that it brings light. Clarity and growth to our dreams. 
Make sense? We don't want nothing long, something just brief to explain what they're trying to say, all right? So the author compares hope to the sun, implying that it brings light, clarity, and growth to our dreams. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, good. Um, Go ahead, Malik. Can you read our explanation for hope is the sunlight? Yes, sir. I'll be on it. All right, so... The metaphor, hope is a sunlight, means the author compares hope to the sun, implying it brings light, clarity, and glow, growth to our dreams. Which Thank you so much, um, Malik, for that enthusiastic reading. Let's go ahead to courage is the sturdy tree. So courage is the sturdy tree. This one is um, nice. When the author says courage is the sturdy tree, what are they trying to say? What does our metaphor mean? Anyone can answer. Courage is the sturdy tree. It's as strong as the tree. It's as strong as the tree. What do we know about something that is strong? It's what? Anchor. It's what? Resilient. It's resilient. Okay. Yeah. Resilient. What else? Rooted. Rooted. Uh huh. It's tough. It's it 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 says never swaying, never swaying, in the stormy gales of doubt. What does that mean? Even though you have a lot of what doubt in your Out. mind and Obstacles. and and you you might not see your way through in the sense that um. Different things happen that cause you to doubt whether you can make it or whether this thing is possible. Um, courage is a sturdy tree. It doesn't sway. When we say doesn't sway, that means it doesn't what? Move. It doesn't it's move. It's not, it's, it's, you can't easily uproot it um, because it's strong, right? So just like how um, the tree, the sturdy tree, stands even in you know hurricane or even in a storm if you have courage right you're going to remain firm and you're not you're, you're going to be resilient right and you, you're not going to give up so courage is the sturdy tree so how are we gonna put that into words we're gonna say so we can say the author We can say just as okay, just as a strong, tr strong, sturdy tree. Remains um, firm during a storm. Courage enables an individual to be resilient and focus during life crises. All life's challenges. All right, so that's how we explain that one. So I need um, Nivia Gordon. Can you read 
the explanation for the metaphor for courage is the sturdy tree. Yes, yeah, so courage is the sturdy tree. Just as a strong, sturdy tree remains firm during a storm, courage enables an individual to be resilient and focused during life's challenges. Very good. Thank you for the reading. And China, can you read this to me, please? The explanation for courage is the sturdy tree. Courage is the sturdy tree. Just as a strong, sturdy tree remains firm during a storm, Courage enables an individual to be resilient and focused on life challenges. Very good. So in this case, you are, you sometimes have questions where they ask you to um, not only identify the metaphor, or and it don't have to be a metaphor, it could be any figure of speech. They not only ask you to identify, but they ask you to explain what it is. So in in case, or sometimes what they do, they, they might... um they might give you the metaphor and say, explain what it means, right? In your own words that I do so. So this is just teaching you how to explain it. Whenever you're explaining a metaphor, you have to show how, what both things have in common. And notice that I, as I keep on doing. The sun gives light, just like hope gives light, right? The, the, um, the sturdy tree gives strength and stability, just like how courage gives strength and stability. So if you are comparing to, if you are trying to explain a metaphor, you have to show how those two things are similar. And that's what they're trying to, you know, bring forth from you. And so I gave you two ways you can explain it, right? Um, Do you understand it so far? Let me know if you understand this so far. Yeah. Okay. Only two persons. Let me know. Yes. Sir. That's all. Okay. So, I do. Okay, let's move on to the third metaphor. Love is the river. So, love is the river. It says, "Love is the river that carves its way through the hardest rocks of rocks of isolation, leaving behind fertile valleys of connection." What is meant by love is the river, what is meant by that metaphor? Giving us joy. It gives us joy. I think that love is common and sometimes the river can be associated with the feeling of calmness. So I think that's what they mean. You made a very good point, um, Myla. Can you say that louder so we can hear it? Love is calming, and river is and the river is often associated with the feeling of calmness. So that's Very. why I think to say that. Very good. Just like how the river brings calm, um, Thanks. and you know, um, rivers, rivers and nature and green scenery and natural stuff has a soothing effect. So love also has that soothing effect as well. Very good point. It's a very good one. That's a deep one. You used to literature in schooling. Not really. Not really? Y'all don't do literature? It's mostly just reading the book. Oh, I got you. I understand. Yes, sir. Um, love is the river. Anyone else have an explanation for love is the river? I do. So, go ahead, Jevin. So, like, the river is calm, gentle, and, like, how life is calm and gentle. Love is, like, calm, calm and gentle. Literally with Mila said, Jevin, come on, be original. I have, I have one. Go ahead, you. go ahead, Nivia. Um, so what I think is, I could say that, um, love is is also associated with connection because when you are you are connected with those around you who you love. Mm -hmm. So when it says leave me on fertile valleys of connection, uh -huh. it is showing you that the things that the things and people that you love are always connected and surrounded by you. I don't know if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does, it does, it does, it does. Beautiful. Love is the river. Very good. I understand how you explain it. So love creates connections and so rivers create connections as well. Nice. Okay, so in this sense, in, in this context. It's saying that the river is doing something to the rocks. What is the river doing to the rocks? What is it's it doing? Cars. 
they use the word carve, but what is it really doing? Like in a natural sense, if you have a river cutting through, what's the better word for cutting through? It's going to do what? Oh, dissecting. And not really dissect it. After a river passes through something over and over and over and over again, it's going to, it's going to erode. That's the word. So the river is going to erode the rocks, right? Now, what is the rocks really a symbol of? The rocks is a symbol of, you know, isolation. You want to be by yourself and whatnot. And so it's going to erode all of those rocks of, or barriers, right? Because that's what the rocks are, barriers. Mm -hmm. And it's going to create a connection, all right? And so that's basically what the author is trying to say. So we can say here that love, so let's explain it. So love love is love is let me move this up. love is metaphorically love is metaphorically um a mirror a, a river that can erode the hardest barriers. And what are the barriers? What's the symbol for the barriers that was used inside of the 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 passage? What symbol for, for barriers that was used? The rocks. The rocks, right? Um of isolation. Creating, creating deep connections, right? Which are the fertile values. All right. Um. Go ahead. Where's the Johnny? Are Johnny are you there? Where's the Johnny? Where is Ajani? Ajani, are you there? Where's Ajani? Hello, Ajani, are you there? I can't hear Ajani. I can't hear somebody. Prashan, Prashan, are you there? Where's Prashan? Yes, sir. Can you read um the information on love is the river? Love is the river that carves its way through the hardest rocks of isolation, leaving behind fertile valleys of connection. I want you to read the explanation. Ah, badly. Love is metaphorically a river that erode the hardest barriers, rocks of isolation, creating deep connections, fertile valleys. That's the example. Very good. And Angel, where's Angel? Where's Angel? Angel, are you there? Bree and Bree and Bri, are you there? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, Bree, can you read "Love is the River"? The explanation for that. Yes, sir. Love is metaphorically a river that can erode the hardest barriers, rocks of isolation, creating deep connections, fertile fields, valleys. Fertile valleys. Very good values and that's what we mean so what we did here is and this is what happens when you are trying to explain a metaphor you have to show that you understand what's actually being explained we understand that what the author is trying to say is that love makes connections right but love in order to make that in order to make that connection love is able to erode or, or or go through different barriers, right? That person may have up. And so that's what the author is trying to say. It it's able to break those barriers, erode those barriers, right? And make meaningful connections. And so you wanna explain all that inside of your reasoning or your reason. 
Let's go on to number four. The fourth um metaphor. What is the fourth metaphor that we have? What is the fourth metaphor that we have? Time is a silent thief. Time is a silent thief. So time. Nope. Let me write this down. Time is the silent thief. Please write this down for me, please. Time is the silent thief. Time is the silent thief. Okay, okie dokie. So time is a silent thief. Um, uh, time is a silent thief. It's shadowy fingers slipping through the, the hourglass unseen, stealing moments with the self of a cat in the nightfall, in the night. What is the author trying to say by using this metaphor? I think they're trying to say that as quickly as moments can happen, they can be taken away because of time. Okay, I like that. I like that. I, want I to think that's beautiful. Wait, one more, one more. She made a very good point. As quickly as moments can be made, they are taken away by time. I like that. Man, that's nice. Go ahead, one. I'm trying to gather my thoughts. Sorry. I know, no, but um. I think um, if we don't pay attention to time, it will disappear mm -hmm. so quickly without you even noticing. Mm -hmm. Just like that's why they use the choose analogy of the cat, right? Um, like a cat stealing moments. So when the cat steals, they say stealth. When we say stealth, what does that mean? Anyone ever play a game and you have to go in stealth mode? Of course. Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, stealth mode. You are, you are trying to be what? Are you trying to be notice? Are you trying to make it obvious? Trying to be on the download. You're trying to be on the download. You're trying to be. You're trying to make it so that it's not noticeable. And so, like one said, the time the time is a thief because it goes by unnoticed. All right. Makes sense. All right. So yes. let's, let's go ahead and. Yes, sir. Um, explain that so we can say that time is personified as time is personified as a thief. See, it's as a thief. that stealthily that stealthily takes away moments emphasizing so they're trying to say that time um and to emphasizing how imperceptible it is, emphasizing how unnoticeable the passage of time is, emphasizing um, it's unnoticeable, unnoticeable, passage. So time is personified as a, as a thief that stealthily takes away moments, emphasizing it's an unnoticeable passage. Very good. Um, and the last one is <clears throat> memory is the quilt. Anyone know what a quilt is? I don't know if y'all know what a quilt a is. A type of blanket. It's like a type a blanket. of blanket. Yeah, it's a type of blanket. So em memory is the quilt. And memory, is it like a thin little... Blank. I mean, quilt. Is it like a thin little blanket, or is it like those big? No, it's thick. Yeah, those thick blankets, right? Um, does anyone have a quilt home? Anyone have a quilt? I do. Yeah, I do. Okay. I mean, but we don't even have we don't even have like warm wind. I mean, like cold winters here. Yeah. Sometimes it feels a little cool. The, I ain't gonna lie, but Amos is over exaggerated every little cold that pass. Every little cold that pass, people wearing boots and bus jacket. I telling you, boots, jacket. That's it to me. Oh, so much little things. 
skin, you know that that is a fact of beauty. I need some fast with gloves that it is. Gloves, wow. So these are quilts, right? I don't understand why people in the Bahamas have quilts. Quilts, bro. Quilts. It's for decoration for the bed sometimes. Yeah, that's for you and I. Decoration for the bed, you and I. This is a nice bed that has a quilt on it. Um, quilt. Pretty neat, right? Imagine coming to a room that looked like this. Oh, boy. That is awesome. Pretty neat decoration. So, memory is the quilt. What does a quilt provide? What does the quilt provide? Warm. 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 Right? Warm. Comfort. Comfort. Cozy. Coziness. Yeah, right. So, how can we compare that to memory? Because when you have special memories with special people or things, you often feel more comfortable than you may have been without those memories. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like that. When you have, when you have special memories with special people, you are comforted um, by virtue of your experience with them. Nice. I like that. I have one. Go ahead. Um, I can say that um, how we could associate quilt with memory is that sometimes quilts, mm -hmm. they're sometimes either stitched together or crocheted. So the memories that we made with mm -hmm. other people, they are, they are connected. Because mm -hmm. I would say stitched together from a fabric of our experiences. Mm -hmm. So the memories are stitched or um, sewn together that's the word they're sewn together and each time we like re remember the memory it leaves us with like it leaves us feeling joyful and happy because remembering the good times we've had mm -hmm. very nice very nice thank you um Nivea Gordon okay so very good you all made some good points there um, let's say that, um, let's say that memory is compared, memory is compared to a quilt made of experiences Offering, offering, offering warmth and comfort through our personal history. All right, good. So I need China. China, can you read the last one? Memory is the quilt. Memory is the quilt. Memory is compared to a quilt made of experienced patches, offering warmth and comfort through our personal history. Very good. And um, Jaleel, can you read the explanation for hope is the sunlight? Hey. Pardon me? Can you read the explanation for hope is the sunlight? Yes, sir. The author compares hope to the sun, implying that it brings light, clarity, and growth to our dreams. Very good. By the way, if you are finished with these notes, take a picture of it and send it to me via WhatsApp again. If you're finished with the notes, take a picture of it and send it to me via WhatsApp. Um, where's Kema? Kema, are you there? Is Kema here? I cannot hear from Kima. Kevin? Where's Kevin? Kevin, are you there? Where's Kevin? I 
take you on there from Kevin. Kingston, are you there? Where's Kingston? Yes, sir. Um, read Courage is the 33. Yes, sir. Courage is the sturdy tree that stands tall, its roots de delving deep into the earth of fiction, never swing. No, in no, the no, 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 no. I want you to read the explanation. Oh. Courage is the sturdy tree. Just a strong, sturdy tree remains firm during a storm. Courage enables an individual to be resilient and focused during life's challenges. Very good. And thank you, K Kingston. And Latalia, where's Latalia? Latalia? I need you all to take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. I can take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. Where's Latalia? Can I from Latalia? Malia Rule, are you there? Malia Rule. I can't hear from you, Malia. Mark, are you there? Where's Mark? Where's Mark? Yes, yeah, sir. Um, have you sent in your work yet? No, sir. Okay, read um read time is a thief, silent thief. Time you is persona. Barely... You could barely see it. Yes, um okay and where's paul yes sir go ahead and read love is the river the explanation for that love is a river love is metaphorically a river that can evolve the hardest barriers rocks of isolation creating deep connections fertile valleys and Samantha? Yes, sir. I need you to read Time as a Thief. Time is the silent thief. Time is pers personified, personified. As personified as a thief and steadily takes away moments, emphasizing its unnoticeable passage. Very good. And Joseph, where's Joseph? Joseph, are you there? Where's Joseph? Where's Joseph? Is Joseph here? I can't hear from Joseph. Okay. And Verony, can you read? Memory is the quilt. Hello. Yes, can you read Memory is the Quilt, please? Memory is the quilt. Memory is compared to a quilt made of experience patches, offering warmth and comfort through our personal history. Very good. And uh, where are we? We have... Prashan, where's Prashan? Yes, sir. Read um, Hope is the Sunlight. Hope is the Sunlight. The author compares hope to the sun, implying that it brings light, clarity, and growth to our dreams. All right, well, again, take a picture of your work and send it to me via WhatsApp. If you have already taken a picture of your work and sent it to me, you can leave. Again, if you've already taken Good night, Mr. Petit. Good night, Good night Mr. Petit. Good, Good night. night. Good night. Good night. Have a wonderful evening. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, Good night. Good night Mr. Petit. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.
Oh yeah, and take a picture of people I can send it to me if you would top once you've already done that. Then you can leave. Excuse me, Ms. Badi. Yes, Kingston. You can send the, the first slide for language since I'm trying to finish up um paper 2, 2021. Okay, you haven't finished that yet. No, sir. Okay. I can send it to you tomorrow, the English one. Yes, we can. Thank you. Kingston. All right, have a wonderful evening and take care. That's all. I can send you what I have right now for 2021. Yeah, send me what you have, please. That's all.